My name is Andy Diaz Hope. I live in the Mission District in San Francisco. I've been in and out of the Mission basically since I moved to San Francisco, and it's really the neighborhood I feel most comfortable in. It has a really nice, diverse mix of working class and more white collar, a lot of creative people, a lot of artists. It's always been the place where I could just walk down the street and visit all my friends in their studios, which is really a key part to staying flexible and inspired to create art. I always think it's funny to call myself an artist, so I, I generally don't, but that's pretty much what I am. So this is part of a series called the Better Living Series, which starts as abstract images of recreational and pharmaceutical drug landscapes in my, in my life or in my sort of sphere of influence. The idea being that we're no longer just our natural heredity, but we are at this point a sum of our natural heredity and our recreational and pharmaceutical drug regimens that we take. The images are recreated in capsules, so each image is printed multiple times, cut on a grid, and then rolled into clear gel capsules. I put down a marker strip to help me reorient the image and then look at each image for a little bits of grain or, or a cloud or something that helps me orient it so that I can start to reposition the pills to recreate the final image. So those images, if you look at them directly, you just see a grid of pills that are very hard to read. As you step back, you start to see the figure. And finally, if you look at it from across the room, you can read the entire image. So these are from the Everybody is Somebody's Terrorist series. Countries that I traveled in were being uh, defined as terrorist countries. Um, and, and my experience was otherwise. So the idea is that Given, depending on your frame of reference, anybody can be considered somebody's terrorist. So I began by designing a series of masks that represented various groups that might potentially be considered terrorist groups. The Clown, Financial District Businessman, Inner City Youth, American Tourist, and the Hippie. Somebody would wear the mask and try to fit in with whatever group that mask represented while people videoed it with little handheld video cameras then that video was edited into an infiltration video which offers tips on how to relate more to whatever group it is that, that's being represented. The way it was installed was as an archaeological museum in the future that looked back on our current time of terror when all these different groups walked the earth. I, I think that my work generally comes from a place of wanting to stimulate dialogue in society and in our culture. Most of the information we get is told to us and, and we're not really given an opportunity to evaluate it or to discuss it. Somebody who views the art might look at it and start to think a little more fluidly about what the piece is addressing and hopefully in that way they'll evaluate their own information and, and start to come up with some of their own ideas. I try not to lead someone to my viewpoint about that particular subject, but more try to get them just to think about it. I think generally more thought is good. I don't expect everyone to have the same thoughts that I do, but generally I think if, if we have a more thinking society, that it'll be a better society. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But <laughs>